Take a look at this house behind me. You may think it looks like a regular house, but it's not. If you look a little closer, you can see that it's actually made out of shipping containers. It's a trend that's spreading across the country. Some people are using them to create tiny homes. They're sturdier and can be more efficient than a traditionally built home. Here's the team that wanted to see how they could make the most energy efficient home out of cargo containers. This is John and he's one of the partners of the group. And John, right. explain to us what we're looking at structurally here. Uh, we're looking at a combination of shipping containers and conventional construction. So we have four 45 foot shipping containers that we've utilized and we've uh, combined that with stick built construction, which is the garage and the stair tower. And you've just kind of stacked these on top of one another yes. to fit your design. Absolutely, yes. Explain to us why you came up with this idea. Well, about four years ago, I started looking uh, for a cabin for personal use, and I wanted something secure, and I wanted something uh, very structurally sound. And so I ran across, in my searches, shipping container homes. And so it just became an interest of mine. Uh, a good friend of mine and neighbor, Justin Zier, who's another partner, he became interested. His father, who was another partner in this project, also became interested. And just by chance, this lot came up for sale and we had been looking to do a project together. We live right up the hill, so it was very convenient for us. And, and uh, Justin called me one morning, said, the lot's for sale, are you interested? I said, sure, and that evening we had an offer put in and, and uh, we decided to do this. Just like a hobby in your backyard, yeah, really. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, are you building this for you or one of the partners? No, it's a spec home and it's available for sale. Okay, yeah. I can't wait to see inside. Oh, Let's yeah, go. Great, thanks. The home itself consists of four cargo containers stacked in a staggered pattern on top of each other with additional areas built from wood. Casey is another of the partners, and when you guys were mapping out what kind of house you wanted here, what were your priorities? First of all, to be eco-friendly, all the way from the products we use in the house, all the way to the process of the build. So, so far we've done that with LED lights throughout the house, solar panels, our heating cooling system is one of the most energy efficient on the market. Uh, our appliances are not only energy efficient, but they're smart as well. And we have an upgraded insulation package. Great. You mentioned insulation. What kind of insulation did you use here in this house? A little bit of everything. Actually, we have a closed cell on the metal container, and that's one of the things, the difference between a wood structure and a metal structure. We did modify the insulation design uh, to accommodate uh, the metal for the transfer of heat and cooling into the living quarters, um, but also helped out cl close up any penetration points in the house for mechanical or windows and such. So is that why you have it on the ceilings here? I noticed there's insulation between the floors as well. Correct, that's blown in, in between the containers. Uh, the ceiling basically, because it's metal, and it, that transfer all the way outside, so the heat and cooling comes in. So the ceiling was sprayed to prevent that transfer into the living quarters. Great, I'm gonna go take a look around with Justin. Okay. Thanks so much. <laughs> and Justin is the last member of the team we'll be talking to today. Now what's the overall square footage of this house? It's around 3,000. Okay, and bedrooms and baths? It's four bathroom, four bedroom. So it's a, there's a lot of house here. There is a lot, you wouldn't guess that by looking at it from the street. No, having the finished basement really helped out achieving that square footage. And it, it really feels like when you walk in and you have that open concept here. This staircase is beautiful. Tell us about this design. Thanks, yeah, that wasn't something that was really part of the original plan when we, we're designing this originally, we realized that we needed to meet a minimum width, and we weren't there with the two containers, so we needed to expand on that. So we decided to put the stairs on the outside so it wasn't in the middle of our floor plan, gave us more of an open concept, and then put these big windows in here that are letting all, all that natural right, light in and everything else. Too. Beautiful. Yeah, it's really worked out well. We're very happy with it. When did you start this process? About six months ago. And the durability factor, was that a consideration? Absolutely. I mean, we, we were really interested by the metal and everything like that. I mean, the waterproof, fireproof, it's just, they're very strong. They're built to last. I've got one last question for you. I'm sure the viewers are curious to know if this is something they can afford. Uh, how does this home compare to a similar home um, that's traditionally built? The comps on this home versus a, a traditional stick built are, are pretty similar. I mean, a four bedroom, four bathroom with about 3,000 square feet is gonna fall in about the same price range in most neighborhoods. Great, so people should be encouraged by that. Thanks a lot. Absolutely. Thank you. If you'd like more information about sustainable living, go to our website at powerhousetv.com.